Hello guys, in this video, let's try Azure Application Gateway for the website hosted in VM. So, we already have web app hosted in VM. As of now, we can access this web app using public IP of VM and of course over public internet. And now, we want to restrict this access such that the web app it should be accessible only through application gateway. And so, we will create application gateway and we will configure the NSG rule for this web app such that it should be accessible only through application gateway. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's open virtual machines. So this is our VM. And we are already connected to this VM using RDP. And you can see now we are in this VM and this that is 20, 28, 41, 237. This is the IP address of this VM and if you see we can access the web app using localhost plus we can also access this web app using the public IP of this VM. Let me just copy this URL and let me run it from my local laptop. Yes, so this web app hosted in VM we can access it over public IP and now of course we will create application gateway and we will restrict the access to this web app through application gateway only. So guys, we are back in Azure portal and here I will say application gateways. Let's say create. I will create new resource group. And I will say RG hyphen application gateway. Let's give name to our application gateway. So I will say our second gateway. Let's keep region as Australia Central tier. Let's select basic. And now guys, this is important. That is virtual network. So as of now, we will select the virtual network where we have our VM. But ideally, we should keep this application gateway in a separate virtual network. And then we should do something called VNet pairing. Okay. And we'll see it in our upcoming videos. But as of now, let's select the same virtual network where we have our VM. So here I will say our first VM VNet and again in this VNet we have our VM and guys again application gateway will have its own subnet. So let's say manage subnet configuration. Let's create new and the subnet I will say subnet application gateway and let's say add let's close this and now from this subnet drop down let's select the subnet which we just created and again this subnet it is a dedicated subnet for application gateway now let's say next let's add new public IP so I will say public IP gateway let's say ok next backends and here let's add a backend pool and obviously in this case it is our vm let's give name so i will say backend pool vm and from this drop down let's select virtual machine and let's select our vm and let's say add now next configuration Let's add a routing rule. Let's give name to this rule. So I will say rule gateway to VM. Let's give priority. So I will say 150. And now we want to add HTTP listener. So I will say gateway listener. Let's keep it HTTP. And now let's use the port as 8080. And now we want to add backend targets. So let's click on it. And first this backend pool is the backend pool which we just created. We don't have any backend settings. So let's so let's say add new. Let's give name. So I will say backend setting for VM. Let's skip HTTP and now guys this backend port. If you remember. See our VM is listening on port number 8080. So here again I will say 8080 basically that's it let's say add again let's say add 
now next and here i will say review plus create and here i will say create and guys you can see our application gateway has been created so let's click on go to resource let's open our application gateway so again we are under overview now let's copy this public ip and let's paste it in browser so i will say http colon slash slash and public ip of our gateway and then port 8080 so basically this should call our web app hosted in vm so let's say enter and yes you see we can access this web app through application gateway but then if you see this is the ip address of this vm and we can access this web app through ip address of this vm as well and now we want to restrict that right so so guys we are back in azure portal and let's open our vm so basically we want to update nsg rule so in this vm let's say network settings and let's go down and see guys this rule allow any custom 8080 inbound so basically this rule it is allowing connection over this port 8080 from public internet so we need to delete this rule let's delete so we may need to wait for a few minutes for this rule to take effect so guys we have waited for a few minutes and now here let's try refresh so basically we should not be able to access this website let's say refresh ah, we are still able to access so it might be because it might be fetching it from cache so let's open new browser and let's paste this url let's say enter and see guys it's already taking some time and it's not going to work so basically we have disabled the access over public ip and yes it's not working and now let's see if we can still access this website through application gateway so let's open new tab and here let's paste this url so basically this is the public ip of application gateway let's say enter and yes it's still working but then why it's still working through application gateway so it's because if we go to our vm and if you go to nsg of this vm see guys this rule that is 65000 and it says allow vnet inbound right and it's allowing the traffic from virtual network and our application gateway it is in the same vnet as that of vm and hence traffic from application gateway is allowed so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening